Hi guys, Tara here coming to you live from London and today I wanted to talk to you about how you can build a home based business while still working a full time job. But first let me tell you how I did it. I am disabled and when I first got ill um, it was very difficult for me to work my full-time job. I have psoriatic arthritis, um, which is an autoimmune disease, which means that my body attacks its own joints. And I also have caudal quina syndrome, um, which is um, where a disc is pressing on the nerves at the lower end of the spine, which causes chronic pain. This meant that my day job was very difficult uh, for me to do. I worked as a teaching assistant in a secondary school. So I had to find something that I could do um, for another source of income because I knew that my day job would be something I would not be able to do long term. So what I did was I looked around the internet to find a work from home business. Now. There's a lot of scams out there, and believe me, I came across hundreds of them. So you need to be careful what you're looking at, and you need to look at all the pros and cons of the things that you're coming across. But when I found one, and I believe I found one that was that is genuine, I um, decided that I would have to work out how to work my time between my full-time job and my home-based business because obviously I needed to make enough money in my home-based business to give up my day job, but only managing to work a few hours at it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get organised. Um, you need to plan out what your most important actions are. Now, obviously, when you start a new business, the first thing you need to do is learn how that business works. So you need to train. So you need to train, but while you're training... Um, and I think this is really important for people, what something people don't understand. When you're training, you need to work as you train. So don't train and do nothing. Don't train and not put any of it into practice. As you're training, put it into practice. Because otherwise you'll train and then you'll forget about it and you won't do anything. Actually, as you're learning, as you're training, do the steps that it says as you go along. And that way you consolidate your learning and you'll be doing the actions that you need to do. So once you've done that, then you need to think about how you're going to spend your time doing what you need to be doing, which is your income producing actions. That's really important. And a large majority of whatever time you have to give to your home based business should be spent on your income producing actions, because that is what is going to give you the financial freedom to give up your day job. So quality time on income producing actions that is a must and then whatever time you have left over make sure that you are doing actions that are going to benefit you so for argument's sake if you have an hour spare after doing your income producing actions then it may be that you need to do more training to find out other ways to that you can produce income so that you're not relying on one way only of producing income in your business. It may be that you need to find ways to syndicate your business so that you are getting yourself out there. Um, it might be that you're branding yourself. It, you know, it could be anything, but make sure that you are doing all of those things that you need to do, but prioritize them because obviously you only have a small amount of time. It's really important that you set yourself a plan and stick to that plan. So you may have, um, it may be a good idea to have a planner and tick off those actions. And if there's only a couple of hours, you're going to have to do some one night and something different another night, but stick to those income producing actions and make sure you're doing them every single night. And that's how I did it. That is how I got my income producing actions completed and got all my tasks done um, so that I could, uh, you know, have uh, my income increase enough for my day job to no longer be irrelevant. Um, and once you've done all of that, then, you know, you keep to a plan, 
even when you're able to give up your job, stick to a plan because you will find it's very easy to get stuck into training and lose your time, get distracted with other things. So stick to your plan, whatever that may be. Now, if you are interested in looking at an amazing home-based business, an amazing way to make money from home, then click on the link below and have a look at what I did. Have a look at the home-based business that I got involved in because it has allowed me to work from home. It's allowed me to bring in extra income alongside a full-time job. So have a look at it, see what you think. And I will just see you on the inside.